Hello everyone, this is Sebastian, aka Barboscopix for Poker VIP. And today I'm back with my four part of this video series on Guts Poker. And let's jump right into the action because we are instantly in a spot. Recreational, we bet turn, multi way, we're gonna also bet river for about half pot, hoping he has a worse pair and doesn't fold it. If he has a better king, that's a pretty sick cooler. Where's the recreational there in a limped pot? Ace eight potentially will see a play. Yep, gonna open. I, I should open a bit smaller here because he is uh, short stacking, but it's not that important. It's fine. Today we're playing three, um, three anonymous tables as I prefer to on micro gaming. So far, they seem to be super filled with fishes, which is always good. We see bet 130 with a lot of our range. Now we're gonna bet quite big because I don't think he's gonna fold a queen. And also we beat some ace x's. And if he folds in like jack 10, that's fine. If I had a worse ace like ace 2s, I might check turn. And we're still gonna value bet river. We're not gonna stop value betting our hand because we still beat some ace x's like ace 2s, ace 4, ace 6, ace 7. And if he happens to have a better ace, he would probably value better and we would probably lose the same or a similar amount. And if he has a queen, I don't think he folds. So let's get value. Hope he has queen jack and hope he calls. Jam, fold. Don't need to tank there, that's gonna be an easy snap fold. Really far down our range overall. The triple barrel in itself is already kind of thin. But surely um, profitable versus a recreational. Right here we're gonna just overcall in a small blind two recreationals. Let's just play a pot, play fit or fold, and we meh. we don't even have a backdoor flush, so I probably will just release this on the flop. Uh, like depending on seabed sizing, some of it's two dollars. I'm out. Eighty cents. We are not gonna fold to eighty cents. We don't bang off the turn, sadly. Would be a good spot to bang off the turn if he bets small again. Now he checks. The king is a really bad card. Queen jack gets there. Some king highs get there. We are going to have a hard time winning here. But we're not going to turn our hand into a bluff and we're going to fall. And he has 10 deuce uh, suited and this guy, uh, yeah, I don't know. 10 deuce suited. Surely a pretty questionable play there. And um, yeah. So you might see. I'm back to using my right hand. Is it? Here is it. Still need some help. But yeah, trying to use it more and more every day to get to get it back into action basically. I'm gonna shoulder still hurts. But that's just part of it. Kings, oh come on now. Pocket Kings, baby. Four recreationals in front of us. Someone will play a pot here. We're never gonna get a walk here. Like, four recreationals in a pot, 0% chance of getting a walk, basically. Yep, yeah, no, it's not happening. Like, what? I think the game bugged there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a bug. Pretty sure that's not a thing. You have Kings UTG, you have four recreationals in front, and you better walk. That's, that's not a thing. Pretty sure the game just bugged out there. We has pair. We has backdoor. We calls min bets. We turns equity. We calls bang, 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 bang. Oh my gosh. Can you just not bomb, please? Please just, just pot it so I can just jam it in. Um, he never folds a three. I don't think he has an 8. If he had an 8, I think he would bet bigger. So let's just not raise that insanely half big. Let's just raise to like half pot. Please re raise me. Snap folds. Probably a jack shit. Easy defend versus min. Easy call on a flop, probably, depending on sizing. If he bets pot, I'm gonna fold. 
that's how far I'm probably gonna go. Potentially getting pretty stationary here. Yeah, pot, okay, sure, take it. Nice seabed strategy. Not really. Um. Wow, the game's actually pretty incredibly soft right now. So we just gotta get some hands now. Just gotta make some hands. I mean, it's about 10 p.m., which I guess is a pretty sweet time to play. I actually switch to my left hand now. Right arm feels exhausted. Easy fold. Oops. Okay, mic should still be. Yeah, should still work. The cable just dropped. Ace and eight. Disappointing. Thought I would get the pocket aces. Min open, easy defend. <clears throat> yeah, buddy, take your time. Just, you know, take your time. That's a pretty good flop for the good old Ace 8 off suited. Hopefully we don't face too much action though. That's already worrisome. Seabed's bomb bombs it. I'm tempted to already like tag him as a weaker player. Just because of that seabed side. And snap checks back. Okay, well you are a weaker player. Okay, we're gonna check Call River. He can have virtually anything. We were gonna defend versus a weaker player with the good old ace jack suited and we flopped quite well. We're gonna snap call the small bet here. Somehow we are one pipped by ace nine, which uh, played his hand pretty poorly. Um, I think we're gonna raise the ace jack. Uh, we can also just call. I don't know, I just think recreationals are too tempted to see bet way too much here. So, and we can obviously race get it in with our hand. Uh, so I'm just gonna race it. And he calls and we miss. Now that's a bit of an annoying turn. Um, so here's the thing. If we check, we kinda have to call it off. Just to him potentially having worse draws. So if, if we're going to call it off anyways, I might as well just jam it in. We definitely have enough equity to get it in here. Let's just hope we ever get a fold. I mean, he snap called the flop. I don't know. I'm going to jam it in. Snap calls me. Hit 7-6 off suited. Um, what the fuck? Well, we found ourselves a whale. Um... Wow. Well, we are surely printing there. Um, we are ahead. Our flop race basically was for value. Yeah. Nice hand, buddy. Nice 3 bit pre. 7 6 off suited. Eh? Snap calls both streets. Doesn't give a fuck. Let's check the equities there. Oh, baby boy, we get some value here. Let's go. He's not gonna fold. Oh, no, he folds when we have trips. That makes virtually no sense whatsoever. Uh, three the ace jack for value. Nine of diamonds, seven of hearts, two of hearts, and then like three of diamonds or something like that. And uh, on the turn, we had 33%. On the flop, we had 53%, so we were, as I said, ahead on the flop. 
value raise on the floor, but we just break, which is a shame. Uh, I'm just gonna see bit 130 with some backdoors and generally expecting him to be a bit too wide. Not gonna barrel this turn, it kind of pr um, connects with his range pretty frequently, and yeah, we have a gut shot, but that's kind of not enough to barrel you. Nice. Uh, I kind of don't think he's going to fold on this card a lot, and I don't know, I just give up. Probably just has some random, completely shitty hand with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, those are some unfortunate hands. Um, missing the ace jack there. But it's, it just showcases, like, he's a fish, I'm assuming he's pretty wide, he has 7-6 offsuited. Meaning he also, like... Has like, I don't know, 10 8 off suited there, which we are actually pretty destroying. He has like a bunch of worse flush draws, which we are destroying. And just Seabets folds a bunch of like hands like Jack 10, let's say Queen Jack off suited and whatnot, right? So I think we have a ton of fold equity check raising the flop. Only thanks to King 10 here versus pretty. Uh, that's not a flop we want to see. We're gonna check, we're gonna delay bluff. Starting on a turn, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna spluff if he checks. He's super imbalanced, and you know, that's which means I'm gonna fold. So, yeah, and if he has a hand like he had, or even if he has a hand like pocket tens there, we are on um, we are ahead on the flop. So, yeah, and on a turn, I just yeah, think shoving ourselves is just gonna be superior to check calling it off. We can still get it in versus worse hands, like if he has like Jack 10 of hearts, okay we blocked that, if he has Queen 10 of hearts, he's gonna call off and we completely annihilate that hand. And if we get it in like that, we had enough equity to get it in versus this hand. So not a big deal. But surely not running that well on the side overall in terms of equity. Dear God, that was like, you don't see that every day. Like the 7 6 offsuited, 3 bets, snap calls the flop race, snap calls the turn gym. That's quite, quite ambitious there. Quite the ambitious line. Dear God. I'm gonna call you a pair in the little pot. This makes no sense. This makes no fucking sense. I wanna station him. He's a fish, he can virtually have anything. That's a good river. Yep, checking down. Cool. Nice hand. I mean, okay. I don't know, his line there is just kind of ridiculously random, I would say. So I'm gonna call him down there. Being the station I am, I'm actually not really a station. Just gonna check down ASI. Not expecting to win a lot, but also not expecting to have a lot of fold equity, so. Give me a set versus the whale, come on. Oh, come on, no seabed. Seabed. You will have so many seabed. Are you. Mm. Okay, bot pair me up. I want to check all the river. I mean, we flop a set and we get like no money. Uh, that's kind of tilting. It's kind of tilting. Raising a bit smaller because he's so short. Gonna start by a kind of small for my weakish top here. If 
he raises, I'm not gonna fold. Too many spazzes in range. I want a bad turn. A lot of one hard hands in his range. I'm gonna call here for the small squeeze with the pocket nines happily. He folds, that's fine. And we don't hit the set, sadly. Oh, maybe we get to hit the set on a turn. Just bang it off. Boom. Nah. Come on, give me another shot on the river. Ooh, come on. Boom. I think that's a relatively good river. Still somewhat hard to be had here, I guess. This guy could have tens or queens or like, I don't know, fives. That's a really good result. That's running quite good there. Gotta acknowledge when you run good as well. Queen 9 suited, gonna be an open. Do 7, right into the mark, straight into the mark. Nice, take it down with Queen 9, that's a good result. Okay, not a lot of happening right now. I'm still mind boggled by that 7 6 offhand, like holy balls. Can I have a value raised on the flop? He's like that. Can I have a draw? He's like behind. So, like, he has no idea about this game. Felix open, gotta fold the jack 8 off. Um. Just don't think it's going to be winning with rake. Oh yeah, that's a good opening sizing. Just good old 6x open. I think we can set mine here though. Uh, we have pretty good implied as a fit or set. Uh, basically I'm going to treat this as like calling a 3-bet and I think we would call a 3-bet given the circumstances. We don't hit our set. That's fine. How about checking now? No? Okay. You win. Gosh, this games are soft though, the games are good. I'm gonna open the queen 5 just because people are so bad. We can really widen our ranges here. I'm not gonna do anything with the open in front though. 9 is easy fold, queen jack suited, pretty cool hands. Probably even calling a 3 bet here given positions, big blind versus cutoff. And people generally not going for big 3 bets. And yeah, back to the ace jack hand, which was the most interesting hand so far. Just like the flop, race is just gonna print because you just have so much equity and... And yeah, I, I just think he's gonna see with so much trash. That really don't mind just taking it down there. And we destroy certain hands. Like with the nut flush draw, you actually destroy some hands like the worst flush draws. And like King Queen of Hearts is like so dead there. So it's not really a bluff race in that sense. It's like kind of a merge race. Kind of loose opening of the King 9. And on the turn I just, yeah, basically, I kind of want to peel this just because the, the guy is so weak and he makes it so small. Yeah, I want to call. He, he nearly min clicks it and yeah, this hand is pretty dominated, but like, this guy is like pretty terrible and he makes it pretty small. And he played pretty passive post flop, which means we're gonna realize more of our equity than we should. Easy fault now. He probably has like pocket fives again. Some ridiculous shit like that. Pocket aces with the whale. Come on, a whale and a million fishes. Now don't give me another walk. Okay, I'm not getting a walk. Oh gosh. Well, that's a terrible flop. I'm gonna check. And now we're gonna bet bet our hand. 
Three shafts, here's pocket force or something. Six five off Six five off suited. Lord, what the fuck are you doing? I was a I was a head prefab of both guys then. Holy crap, what the fuck is going on? That's insane. This guy is definitely here to lose some money. And he loses another hand. Come on, why why do, do the other guys get to stack the whale all the time? Like come on, like let me get a piece of the whale. And we have aces here. Don't give me another walk. Come on. Come on. I'm win a decently sized part of the aces. He sent him heat. The 5-8. Come on, we are so rooting for 5-8 in this kids really drawing that. Holy shit, please reload. Please reload. Dear God, please reload. No, nope, he's not reloading, and we immediately when he leaves the table, we get a good hand. When he was just open shoving eight high. Oh. That's really disappointing. I see that big here of the aces, hopefully not running into base range. It's good, and it's a really good turn. Let's pile some money into the pot. Let's hope he has a queen. He's never gonna fold a queen. He never folded top pair in his entire life. Let's just pile a lot of money into the middle while having like the realistic nuts. I'm not even gonna fold a few raises here, I think. Uh, that's disappointing. That's what you call disappointing. Man, this just says quads, can you quads? I'm gonna open really wide here with the jack to seven. I really wanna play a part of the whale. Come on. Nice, min three bet. And this guy snap cold calls. What the fuck? Defending the three four was the first easy check raise on the flop. Easy call here, given we get a million to one and we have a suited, somewhat connected end. Sadly, not really flopping a piece. That's okay. Raising the flop here can definitely get a lot of value if we are beat here. That's a shame. That's a good turn. We block uh, boat outs as well. On top of having a flush. So if you bet four dollars, there will be nine of thirteen dollars in, and I'm gonna have fourteen dollars left. So we have to bet a bit bigger. Something like this seems fine. He will still continue with sets, two pairs, aces with a spade, kings with a spade, jacks with a spade, stuff like that. King jack is probably not gonna fold. He's recreational. We're just gonna. Bomb the nuts and get a fold, okay. He might have just had an like ace queen of hearts, which then just folds. Here we're gonna just check back, realize a uh, pretty good turn. Um, checks, which means he's officially capped. Uh, I just don't think he's balanced here. I'm gonna just bet and I'm gonna probably fall off on the river. I would probably bet pretty big on that river. I don't think he's having the clubs there a lot. Yeah, sometimes has a higher straight, but yeah. Deuce nine going straight into the mark. King 10, 9, 10, two quite reasonably strong hands. 
King 10 will go into the Maki though. 10 9 hopefully can manage to see a flop. Uh, and fold King 8 here. 10 9. With the whale in the big one, I'm definitely flatting here to let the whale come along. Or maybe min 3 bet again. Oh, come on, pocket kings now. Get me some dice. Come on, min 3 bet again or something. I'll just call, I don't care. Does it me flop something good? Let's start to something good. And now we're hoping to get some dice with the kings. Uh, I wanna check. I could bet. Surely okay. Kings get another walk, that's a shame. Gonna definitely bet turn now for value protection, building a part of a hit. Where it calls me, I'm even contemplating value betting river. Uh, once this guy overcalls as well, I'm definitely not value betting river, just gonna check down and beat both of them. That's a good result. I'm a min race by a fish, we're nearly calling any hands here. Gonna snap fold, of course, given we have literally nothing. Jack 10 into the mark with the effectively MP open. Queen 8 off suited. I'm gonna fold this one as well with the effectively MP open. Plus, there's a 3 bit, so we don't even have a decision. Seven eight. Let's just hope to get involved with the whale and flop the nuts. Come on, I really want to stack this whale now. Okay, we get three bit by a short stack. This is a pretty annoying spot because we actually have to fold our hand because of stack depth being so shallow. That's actually really tilting because it's a pretty beautiful hand, and I hate to fold to a three bit there, but given he's only fifty BBs uh, deep, we have to fold. It's just a play there. Ace 5, gonna check. Okay, we flop something, I guess. He's probably gonna pot it now. I'm gonna fold, and we would have turned the nuts. Feels bad, man. Gonna fold Ace 8, gonna fold the 9 4. Pretty trivial things. Opening next eight. Six eight off into the map as well. Getting reasonably hungry, just realized. Probably gonna need to cook something. Um, can we first stack the whale? That would be a dream. I mean, by the way, in the ace check and you can also just flat flop. That's a completely viable option and definitely gonna be plus EV. Um, just as we saw, he's extremely wide preflop and he see it's also extremely wide. So it's going to be really profitable to raise there as well. Given we're out of position, I just prefer to raise. Folding the queen 10. Actually, I should have probably st uh, yeah, should have opened the queen 10 given the whale there being involved. King Jack flopping top pair. Gonna call at least two streets. This is already starting to be annoying. Big bet, and this guy snap calls it. And this guy's a UTG range, so probably folding turn. Oh, nice checks now. Nice, we have the nuts now. Um, we're gonna block bet the river. Let's go. Block bet the river, get some value. Let's go. So he's virtually wrapping pocket nines. It's basically his only hand.
I just don't think people are ever balanced here. I'm just gonna fold it. I'm also pretty unkept there. I'm just gonna make an exploitative fold there. Pocket Kings, maybe get some money back. Nope. Gonna get a walk. Okay, that's disappointing. Yeah, pretty happy to block fold there, the King Jack. Like, also the speed of his race, just not really inclined to believe that he's going insane there. Probably just has the pocket nines all day or something like that. Ace King, maybe can get some dice. Ace Queen, come on, let's win one. Gonna call this 3 bet, not thrilled, but gonna call the 3 bet, gonna squeeze here myself, gonna call the 3 bet in position, pretty awful flop for the good old ace queen, and he bets pretty big, we can just fold, and the deuce 9 off straight into the mark. Gonna sit out here next big blind and gonna get some food. Doesn't seem like we're gonna stack the whale tonight. It's Batman. Setting out next big blind here, and the next big blind here will be in two hands as well. As always, if you have any questions, any comments, write them in the comment section on YouTube or on Poker VIP. I'm always glad to read comments and reply. And the news turn into the mark. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, I have a bunch of videos on the Poker VIP channel. Make sure to check them out. Make sure to like them if you like them. Make sure to comment if you have any questions and stay tuned guys and good luck on your own grinds. Peace!